CHALLENGE! Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Cool Story Bro back with the 31st narrative Wi Fi battle. This is another UU battle against somebody off the Smoke On Battle Finder named Dragon Zero. And I'm looking at his team and I'm already knowing what does what and what's the big threats I gotta take out. He's got a Swamper, obvious Stealth Rocker, probably gonna be his lead because I have no Rapid Spinner. Arc and I, you know, probably Life Orb or possibly physically defensive with Intimidating Leftovers. Most likely offensive with Life Orb. Hit one top, physically defensive, intimidate his Rapid Spinner. Porygon 2, something I need to kill off quickly. I got Machem, I'm gonna make sure to keep it alive to hit it with Dynamic Pimp Hand. Uh, his Frostless, pretty annoying. I don't want it to set up on me with Spikes because my team has no Spinner and having Spikes will be a problem. He's got Haunch Crow, which is always a big threat no matter what team it's on, so I gotta look out for that. So anyway, he leads off with a Swampert as I expected. I lead off with P2 unit, go for the Magic Code knowing he's gonna try to set up rocks on me. Like, come on man, get that out of here! Get out of here! You're not from the hood! So, go for another magic code again in case he tries to go for stealth rock again thinking I would attack. But, he went for the sclat. I go for the ice being surprised out speed. And here come the hacks gods once again. Freeze a swamper, solid. It happens. But, you know, you can't even get mad at me about this one. If you use scald while you're frozen, you defrost yourself. Dragon Zero, if you're watching this, please take note of that. He didn't know that because he switched out, so I feel kind of bad. Now he switches out in the Hitmon top on the Ice Beam, and no, he makes a pretty good play here. He um he knows when to switch out to Miss Magius to block his Rapid Spin or his Close Combat, whichever one. But he goes for Foresight, which allows him to use either even on Ghost types. So that was a good play on his part. I go for the Shadow Ball. Choice Specs modest Shadow Ball from Miss Magius. 105 base Special Attack just is not enough. I swear. I mean, it's a two hit KO, but you know. <laughs> I was hoping it would have done a little bit more than that, but it's whatever. He goes for the Sucker Punch, thankfully I was at full HP, otherwise I might not have been able to take that. It does a ton of damage to me, I go for another Shadow Ball, manages to fry his hit on top, and he sends out Frostlass. Now in the event that he thinks I'm going to switch out predicting the Shadow Ball, I decide to stay in and just go for another one. You know, just in case he tries to set up on me. So I let Miss Magius go down, I go for Chili my Weavile, Revenge Killer with Night Slash, and Frostlass is going down before he can even get up a layer of spice. That's excellent. I got this in my favor right now. He has no hazards he can get up on me now. Because the Swampert's frozen, his spikes user is down, and his rapid spinner is gone. So you know I'm free to take advantage of that later on. So he sent in his Arc and Nine. I bring in P2 unit by the trace to flash fire, expecting him to go for either flare blitz or possibly close combat. You know, it's whatever. I don't know why he went for extreme speed. I think it was a misclick. But whatever, you know, I know he's gonna go for close combat on my Porygon too, so I switched out in the slow bro. And you know, I got this. I got this. Even if he went for wild charge, I'm physically defensive, so I could have gotten off a Thunder Wave on it, would have crippled it and would have made it easy to kill with Scald. No, Sclad, I mean, I'm sorry. So yeah, he switches in Porygon 2 on a Thunder Wave. And now he's running the offensive Porygon 2 because he has downloaded as his ability instead of Trace. I send him my Porygon too because you know that's my special wall and really the only thing that can really like acceptably deal with his Porygon too. So he goes for the discharge, doesn't do a lot because like I said I'm specially defensive. I go for the recover as he brings in his, his Swamp Bird again and like, like I said if you went for Scald you would have defrosted yourself. It would have made this at least look a little bit more fair than it is but you know as you're going to see here he stays frozen for like a bunch of turns as I bring in Admiral Stri Striations. Not Captain Strations anymore, Admiral, he's he's been uh, promoted, yes. So I go for the substitute, capitalizing, like I said, and now this is where it gets interesting. You know, he he's trying to go for Stealth Rock, I guess. I go for the dynamic pimp hand, and it hits him for about maybe a third of his HP. When you factor in leftovers, it, it sort of turns into like a three or four hit KO. But, you know, like I said, this guy just keeps trying to go for Stealth Rock, trying to make this battle fair. BAM! Dynamic Pimp Hand again. I'm just gonna keep going for it until you are dead. Because you're not, you know, due to your lack of knowledge. I mean, I feel, I, I do kind of feel bad, honestly, that it just had to happen this way. But I go for the Dynamic Pimp Hand. BAM! Once again! And I just keep going for it, and he's still frozen. So I think it's just crazy that he's been frozen for like three turns straight. I mean, you have a 20% chance of defrosting each turn, but, you know, whatever. I don't want to waste all the power points on my dynamic pimp pad, so I just use her ice punch this time just to finish it off. So, he sends out his Arcanine here. Not worried about it at all. Go, he goes for the NFL Flare Blitz. 
breaks my substitute, I hit him with the hit him with the Stone Edge, easy one hit KO. Not even factoring in Stealth Rock and Life Orb. Not even factoring that in. Yeah, easy one hit KO. It's down, not worried about it. He sends in his Haunch Crow. Big problem. Don't want to deal with it. I bring out third place, my Bronzong. Physically defensive and can take anything, anything Haunch Crow throws at it. It does Brave Bird, which kind of does a good amount of damage, actually. Actually. But, you know, factoring in leftovers, this is probably going to be like a 5 hit KO. Or 4 at least. So he switches in his Porygon 2 as I went for the Gyro Ball. You know, wonder what he's going to do. He might have tried to go for Sucker Punch or something. I don't know. But since he has Porygon 2 and is paralyzed, I capitalized by going for Stealth Rock late game. It might have seemed like a weird play, but I wanted to make sure his Haunch Crow was going to take as much damage as possible so that I wouldn't have to worry about it being such a problem. I mean, not that it is a massive problem. I have five Pokemon, but. You know, still. So, I bring in Captain Admiral Striations. I go for the Dynamic Pimp Pan. It does a ton of damage to his Porygon, too. Para Flinch, he can't move. Like I said, I'm sorry for the hacks, man. I'm sorry for the hacks. I go for the Dynamic Pimp Pan again, and that kills his Porygon, too. So, Haunch Crow's his last Pokemon left. Takes about 25% from the Stealth Rocks, like I said, which is why I wanted to get it up. So, I go for third place again because it can take anything his Haunch Crow throws, and he goes for Substitute. You know, Substitute is kind of like a two-edged sword on Haunch Crow because, you know, it's sort of, I mean, it gives you more free use of Sucker Punch, but at the same time, Haunch Crow kills itself enough already with Life Orb and Brave Bird Recoil. I mean, it just has roots to heal itself up with, yeah, but, you know, anyway, enough rambling. He goes for Sucker Punch, does a, a good amount of damage, really good. I go for Gyro Ball, it does a lot, but since I have no attack investment, it does not kill, it does not kill the Haunch Crow. And he goes for Roost here, and I'm just, oh, are you really going to try to do this, man? Are you really going to try to drag this on? I go for the, dra the, the Gyro Ball again, hoping to kill off his Haunch Crow, and I guess he decides to just change his mind about dragging it off. So he goes for a Sucker Punch, doing what he can, because he can't really win this. He's, I, I get this. Good game, Dragon Zero. Good game. Um, Like I said, sorry about the hacks, sorry about the paralysis and the freezing. But like I said, it, it could have been a little bit more fair if you used Scald, you know, not everybody knows this, uh, hopefully more people do know it in the future, if next time you freeze a bulky water type, Scald does defrost the user, but um, thank you guys for watching, like, comment, subscribe, I'm still glad you guys have been doing that a lot lately, uh, keep it going I guess, keep it going, yeah, stay tuned for more videos, thank you.